All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and better than ever. Now, I think about six months ago, I said I was gonna be back and here I am. I'm in the office, I'm a real estate agent, I got a license, we are going, baby. Let's cut to the point. Today's video, about four types of home loans, just the kind of the main types of loans, and it's just a very general, broad overview. Nothing too in detail, nothing too specific, just the general requirements, needs, whatever. So this video is not gonna be too long, let's get into it. So four types of home loans we got are FHA, conventional, USDA, and VA, and I'll be talking about them in that specific order. Now FHA stands for Federal Housing Administration. This is targeted towards first time home buyers in order to help them really get into a home. Now the biggest thing for an FHA loan is that you need as little as three and a half percent down. Let's say you're getting a $100,000 house. This means you only need $3,500 to put down. One thing about it is that it requires mortgage insurance, which can bring the monthly payment up. Now some other requirements, you need to live in the house for at least one year before you rent it out, before you use it as an investment property. You need to have at least a minimum credit score of 600. The conventional home loan is like the normal, I guess you'd say. This is a loan that really scares people because people think that you absolutely need 20% down, which is an absurd number. Let's just go off. If you want to get a $100,000 house and set at three and a half thousand, you need $20,000. This is not the case. You do not need 20% down. There's other ways that you can go about it, but if you put 20% down, you don't have to pay private mortgage insurance, which makes the payment cheaper. So for this, you'll need a minimum credit score of 620, which is 20 points higher than FHA loan. And that's the biggest reason why an FHA loan is much more beginner friendly, a lot less money down. You do not have to occupy the property. There's no time limit. You don't have to live there for a year. You can just rent it out as soon as you buy it. A USDA loan is completely different than the other, other types of loans. This is the United States Department of Agriculture. Now this is for people trying to get into a home that's in a rural area. So if you want a house in the country, now you don't need a down payment for this one, but it has to be your primary residence. You'll have two premiums. One is gonna be upfront, 1%, and the other will be 0.35% monthly. Now, one important thing to know is that the closing costs can be rolled into the loan. It'll just make your monthly payments higher. Last but surely not least, we have a VA loan, Veterans Affairs. It's a government-backed loan. This is arguably the best loan that you can get. 0% down, no credit score requirements. It doesn't get any better than that. There is one fee, and that's the VA funding fee, unless you're disabled. If you're disabled, the VA funding fee is waived. Fortunately, you can pay that up front or you can roll into the loan, which will just make payments a little bit higher. Now, in order to qualify for this one, you have to be active duty, retired, or the surviving spouse of a veteran, but you can't be married, remarried, I should say. That pretty much wraps up today's video. This video was really just to kind of educate you on the generals and the very basics of these types of loans so that you have that knowledge and you kind of know what to look for and what options you have. Now, there is a plethora of other options out there, but these are just kind of the, the basic four. We are back, we are better than ever. I'm gonna be focusing on real estate, business, and being much more professional on here and all my other social media platforms. That way we can, we can build clientele, we can educate you guys, and I can educate the world. But that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.